Ja. We forgot to mention in the news, so I'm creating a little vlog here to put in front. I am so excited to share uh, on March 15th, we are. But yeah, yeah, I remember Watch Dogs. Why are we talking about it? Yeah. Uh, so Scan the building. Ubisoft push a button. knows when to strike. Like, when the iron is hot, right? It's the perfect time to make in the Watch Dogs movie. Oh, you want to go make a go watch, go watch well, a Watch Dogs movie? I want to watch somebody smash cars together at a light. That's that's probably what they think is the hottest thing in in the game that need to recreate. No, you hack here to no. hack there to hack here to push button. Yeah, and, and then, then you're gonna go really to really Ubisoft. Do it again. You're really? gonna go to that building and steal a social security number, and then you're gonna go to that building and steal a social security number, and then you gotta travel to the next town. If they stuff. have my Granny Patrol. Maybe. No, we know who's starring. So Sophie Wilde, the Australian actress from Talk to Me, is going to star. Uh, it's going to be directed by French director uh, Matthew Turi, and the screenplay will be done here. by Christy LeBlanc. Um, so Turi previously did horror movie Hostile. I don't. I've never seen it. Screenwriter LeBlanc's major credit was Netflix sci-fi horror drama uh, called Oxygen. I didn't see it. And uh, it's coming via New Regency, the same folks who helped Assassin's Creed movie. Uh, get made, and everyone knows how much that movie was amazing. Michael was amazing. Apparently, two hundred forty million dollar box office, uh, grossed to fifty four million in the United States and one hundred and eighty six million in other territories worldwide, for two forty against a production budget of one twenty five. So, 
moderate success, yeah. helped by mainly overseas. Um, great. But to us, this film was boring. It was. It wasn't really a good Assassin's Creed film. I mean, we all love Michael Fassbender, yeah. but... Uh, he could really, it. It it'll be soft. Of all your franchises, this is the one you're going to choose. I mean... He's correct. He knows when to strike. Yeah. Ubisoft. Which I guess other people are handling the Tom post. Clancy stuff better than you. Uh, you know, so you don't want to touch that. What else? Far Cry. I mean, uh, you know, the guy that's like uh, doing the same thing over and over is uh, crazy. He is the actual actor that they base the character on. He can do a Far Cry. I'd be way more interested in that over Watch Dogs. Yeah. What else? What's another one? What's an Ubisoft property that could use a movie? Skull and Bones. Hey, actually. If they didn't fuck up on Skull and Bones, it would be nice to have a competing pirate film, right? Yeah, because no one wants to do any of the rum drinking or anything else. I want to see someone Caribbean. who is not Johnny Depp pick coconuts. In the harvest, but when you get there an hour later, you find out the coconuts are gone. Yeah. They <laughs> who already the did, fuck is here? <laughs> they already did Prince of Persia. Mm -hmm. And that, that, was, that also home. didn't turn on turn out too well. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think we've been through them all. Uh, a pirate film would be cool to go against uh, a Disney's uh, Caribbean. For Honor? Beyond Good and Evil 2 would Beyond be Good interesting. Evil. But I mean, if that's... that game ever could, the movie would come out before the game. Yeah. yeah. It's having come out exactly at the same time. Incredible. Just dance movie. <laughs> no. Take it no. to the streets. It's like, yeah, it's they like made that. A, they made all those movies already. Yeah. Cool. Bring it on. Oh, it's already brought it. I am not excited for the Watch Dogs IP mm, in any way. Me neither. Uh, let me see a Ghost Recon film. Hell, I'd even prefer a Division <gasps> film. Over. Legendary Fishing. The Division movie would be an hour and a half of shooting the same dude. Over and over, yeah. yeah. No, it would take several possible. magazines to bring down. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well. Uh, Screw it. Moving on. Temtem was a game that came out a couple years back, a little little while back, and it was like the Pokemon clone. It was like the first. Yeah, I had to uh, yeah. Google it. I was like, oh, I remember. That. Yeah, and so everyone's like, oh, this game's not going to do anything because it's just simply clone kind of Pokemon. It didn't quite do what Pal World did, which was again the, the biggest Catch success on fire success story in the yes. video game history in a long time. Um, but what happened with Temtem is not a lot of people were playing it, and so they started to milk the people that were playing it. Massive That's exactly what you want to do, right? Yes. Take care of those people. Yeah, yeah. Milk <laughs> those whales. Um, Milk and, their titties. Uh, and apparently it's not working for them, and they, they want to get people back. So we under, they, what they said, we understand the monetization system on Temtem was deemed out of place for a lot of players, with our game not following the traditional rules of a live service game. Yeah, fuck you. And so they were going to completely cut them out. Um, I, I think it's probably too little too late. There's other things out there if you're looking for a Pokemon clone. There are other ones, and you kind of. I good, it's good that a company realized that they're being fucking idiots, and they're reversing their decision. But it shouldn't have happened in the first place. And we warn against these kinds of things, and your audience sometimes doesn't come back because you pissed them off. Well, and they've already so. milked the whales, and they're not giving the money back, right? So, so we see this a lot. Blizzard does something like this, where they release a five hundred dollar, uh, you know, you know, a giant pack. And Valorant does the same thing. Massive pack. And the whales just buy it because they don't care. They just want the thing. They got a lot of money. And then what they do is then they go, oh, we're sorry. We heard that it's too mm. expensive. But we're not giving the whales their money back. We got that money. Mm. And so we'll lower it for all of you peasants that, that yeah. we actually don't care as, you know, as much about. So it's like I don't have any. You know, I'm great. No. But I still no. don't think of this thing. Still bad. Uh, Whatever. Not yeah. playing it. <laughs> Uh, speaking of games that I'm not playing, Overwatch 2 is getting... Well, Joe got away with not playing the game. It's Fortnite. He was supposed to play the, the, the Ninja, Ninja Tur Turtles. We're busy and that it week. Came, and it came in under our radar. One of our friends kept telling us about it, but we're like, oh, man, we were like really busy doing something else. And so you got away with that one, Joe. Yeah, I, you know, I, it made me want to... Joe promised Gonna play Did Ninja he promise? Turtles. Uh huh. Apparently, it was on one of our news shows. One of our weird people. So, but Maybe I, I don't think you can still it. buy it. Comments. Uh, I'm Maybe going to. I'm going to look at the comments in this video. Can you still buy the Ninja Turtle skins? Yeah, because I want to play Michelangelo with a machine gun. The, you know the, what I've always wanted to do. So. Shit. 
Uh, well, Overwatch 2 is getting a new collaboration. Uh, Cowboy Bebop, you know, property that I absolutely love. Actually, I went to a Cowboy Bebop yes. live show um, last week. It was incredible. It was, I mean, what do you mean? Live show? What is it? What did they do? The yes. anime? They recreate the anime? You know, it's a big, jazz, it's a big band. Like oh, the Bebop band. band. So, it. like, massive yes. brass section. It was, it was incredible. Um, so, you know, if it comes to your town, you should definitely check it out. Um, but the Bebop, uh, Cowboy Bebop is coming to Overwatch. I don't give a shit. But they, it was what? Six, Overwatch. Overwatch, yeah. A weird crossover, okay. Yeah, you want to play uh, Cassidy, well, is, is going to get a Spike Spiegel skin. Uh, Faye Valentine will be on Ash. Jet will be on Mauga. Um, wow, this is one uh, skin combination that would, uh, that is, is it purpose you? built for <laughs> Alex. Oh, yeah, but I hate Overwatch. So you're not going to play it? No, nope. under no circumstances. No. <laughs> not even. Not even a hyper niche uh, uh, crossover can get Alex to come. No, no, ab absolutely not. And then there's, you know, there's going to be one free unlockable skin, but all of these are going to be you know, you know, paid skins. So I'm not interested in giving them money. So, uh, mm -hmm. but if you are, this mm -hmm. is something you could be interested. Yeah. Like people are going to start following the Fortnite formula because the Fortnite formula works. Yes. They give the fans exactly what they want. Massive, you know, they gave OJ his Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Even though he ignored them, you got Superman, and so it's like they're giving these people kind of what and they Jack want. Ball Z. Yeah, how did you do it? Uh, 40k. I mean, Call of Duty. It's gonna get me with 40k. When is that coming out? It's sometime in March. This month. Yeah. yeah. That's all. So they're they're trying to follow the same model, making sure that people actually have stuff that they you know they want, not just I'm gonna turn your character orange, give me nine dollars, yeah. yeah. which is the Apex Legends model. So probably gonna see more of these these licensed things. But I'm still not interested in a watch. Uh, Activision, 600 Activision QA workers just formed the biggest video game union in the United States. Um, you know, I hope this really works hey, out for them. It's about look time they that. needed that, but it's going to be a look. very big uphill battle. Yeah, yeah they, I mean, I think the games industry does need unions yes. because this is an industry that, that churns through. Um, you know, people more than shit a lot of other industries that I know of, and especially in, in the QA, like you, you don't have a lot. You, you essentially are less than a peon. You know, you don't get paid vacations. You know, it's just all on contract work, and you don't really work for Activision proper and all these other things. They do all these tricks to keep you outside to yeah. make it very easy to, to drop you in an instant and that sucks and games are always better when you have a Q, good Q&A department because uh, instead of Joe figuring out all of your bugs those guys can I'll figure find out all your I bugs will find yeah. Joe will probably still find them after that team is done but to be fair uh, you know we need to treat our game developers better because they are basically making you know these games that we all freaking love mm -hmm. and uh you know it's, this is a bigger industry than the film industry and the film industry has massive protections on all sorts of their workers you know their grips and everything and there's all these regulations that that keep that thing going um and i think it's a good thing and uh so good luck to that group over there at Activision, Activision, especially at these bigger companies. Obviously, when you're a small company, you don't really need, you know, of that. Yeah. And, but these bigger companies, we're talking EA, Activision, 2, 2K, or Take Two, that make gross billions and millions of dollars, basically taking advantage of gamers yeah. uh, with small microtransactions and, and live service bullshit. And the least they can do is pay their employees. And that's one of the uh, news stories that I wanted to get to. Capcom. Capcom, uh, I'll have to look it up here. Capcom pays their employees. Yeah, it's a 5 to 28%. That's yeah. what it was. It was. Um, yeah, it's for people that did the graduate. Good guy Capcom. And when you make your developers happy like that and. and and give them environment in which they feel like they yeah. can succeed, they will make better games. Yeah. I promise you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 4% has been the standard yearly raise, so it's like, I don't want to... Capcom's fine. 
you know, I think that, you know, it's a good idea. It's good that they're taking care of their employees. They are making they filthy money. They invest in these people. Yeah, Go ahead, but they don't, they don't want to they don't want to suffer the brain drain, and they are just barely keeping up with industry standards. And that's an amazing thing for Capcom, and I'm glad they're doing it because other companies aren't doing it, but I don't want to, you know, give them a medal just yet. Um, I do when when other companies are letting people go and firing people. This is a 27.7 increase over uh, in, in in investing its people. And when the uh, when the company itself is saying, "Hey, we're focused on strengthening our capabilities within development and technology, creating world class quality games in order to enhance sustainable corporate value." Um, they're looking to sustain their corporate value by investing in their own people, whereas EA and Activision look to sustain their corporate value by dropping single-player AAA games and, and, and big experiences that are, you know, and, and go for the mobile and go for the live, live service and the microtransactions. Fuck that. So yeah. I like the fact that you know, they put out these statements. Driven by its philosophy of being a creator of entertainment culture that stimulates your senses, Capcom will work to address the issues facing our society while aiming to improve its corporate value and establishing a relationship of trust with its employees. So, cool. Yeah. yeah. Fire. Don't, don't fire anybody right after that. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. And so like, Massively, I was like, fuck. Yeah. They're not... They're not... In a, in a situation where they've got so much bloat. They're, they're working on, you know, the Resident Evil team is working hard remaking the Remix. games. Remaking the Remix. games that they've already remade, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, uh, like he said, uh, at the it's a 5% raise that their uh, existing employees are getting, and then uh, any new hires, they're raising the, the starting. Yeah, we'll rise to uh, 3,000 yen, which is like 2,000-something, a 27% uh, percent increase over previous hires. Uh, so, uh, Microsoft entered this agreement with the uh, CWA when they acquired Activision Blizzard, kind of paving the way. Again, not good guy Microsoft. They're just like, hey, you know, unions happen. Yeah. You know, they didn't want to be anti-union when they purchased the company. So, this kind of paved the way for this this massive one to take place. Unf I don't want to say unfortunately, but look, it's in QA. Uh, and I, I grew up with people who worked in Blizzard QA.
Rooster teeth. They're going to be laying off 150 Whoa. employees. Um, that is crazy. That was a industry legend and tie-in when I was getting into YouTube. You know, they used to have I've little conventions here, too, downtown. Several people that worked there um, yeah. uh, over here in Austin. Mm -hmm. There were some guys I had conversations with, the, the CEO. They were you know, maybe joining or whatever, but I just wanted to do my, my own thing. Um I guess I'm, I'm glad I, I stayed independent. I don't know if these people are losing their jobs. And All of them. I'm yeah. sure, fuck, man. Well, I'm sure they uh, some of them have shows, right, that they could just continue the, on their own. The podcast is going to continue. So. Wonder Brothers is looking to sell it, but, like, the, the Rooster Teeth podcast is looking. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, they this is what Jordan Levin, the CEO, says. Um, he says, challenges facing digital media resulting from fundamental shifts in consumer behavior and monetization across platforms advertising and patronage is kind of the reason ultimately and this is this is something that warner brothers said um rooster teeth had been running at a loss for at least 10 years they just weren't making Jeez. so like this is something that you know it sucks but so, I was yeah they them. bought them out i guess for their potential or they were one of the bigger ones in the yeah. spot and yeah. then it, it just never made them money yeah and so wb is like well and they're a corporate so they don't understand like well it's a loss leader. We're creating content and bringing eyeballs to you. They're like, I no, I don't yeah. give a fuck about that. It's I been too be long. Else. It's been a decade. The yeah. Buddy, the buddies I had that played magic that worked there had nothing, nothing at all good to say about the people who managed the, their offices. Yeah. So there's zero. They're like, they're, actually, they're probably, they don't work there anymore, but they're probably thrilled that this is happening. Yeah. There's they're a like, lot of, ah, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot of the managed channel networks, you know, were like, fuck, like, you know, Machinima was trying to like implement like the stupidest fucking shit. Like when I tried to work with them, like you had to submit your videos to them and then the percentage 
percentage of this and that. And I was like, what the fuck? No. Yeah. So, but that's that's a slightly different than Rooster Teeth, but you well, know, they, they kind were, of in the same. They were realm. bought by Full Screen, which mm-hmm. was a media network in 2014. Yeah. And then when Full Screen got bought, which by one was bought? Full Screen. No, which Full Screen bought who? Uh, got bought by WB. Got bought by WB. And that's actually how Rooster Teeth got indirectly acquired. Okay. You know, I don't mm-hmm. know if that was something that they looked to. Yeah, but manage the days of the managed channel networks where if you're a YouTuber and you wanted to be successful, you would go with one of these big companies because these big companies would have friends that worked at YouTube that would give you the YouTube partnership. Those days are long gone. Well, YouTube killed them. I mean, purposefully. They're like, why would I let you exist and be a middleman when I can just take all of your money? And I have all of them. Well, it was because YouTube yeah. was really scared yeah. of legal action on all of these different things. And then as YouTube worked it out, then they started going to the directors more uh, directly. Yeah. And and these these conglomerate companies that, that put a bunch of shows together and a bunch of people together started, you know, losing money. Yeah. Being poor. But if you, you can still watch uh, Red vs. Blue, I mean, Internet... You know, that, that's that's classic stuff right there. So. Yeah, I mean, that's the very internet. influential for for forever. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, more Warner, Warner Brothers stuff. They're going to be removing Adult Swim published games. Um, so the developer said that the game ownership could not be transferred back to the original developers due to logistical and resource constraints. So you bought them. Uh, <laughs> the developers have all said it takes three clicks, and you could just click the button three times, and I'll just remove Adult Swim from everything in the game, and that way I don't lose my wish list and my fan, like the the, the ratings and, and all of the other things. And W's like, no. Um, and so um, not gonna it's die. tough. Three, three clicks is a lot of clicks. You know how many more clicks than two it is? It's like 50% more lot clicks. More. It's a lot. <laughs> so. Yeah. Cool. Great. Good on you, WB. Nice. Uh, and WB has also said um, that the AAA in- industry is volatile. And they really want to focus on live service <laughs> and mobile free-to-play games. Um, where you know, because they want to focus. Are you fucking stupid? Did they not learn from the first mistake? Did you not learn well, anything from Suicide Squad? The most Squad? recent. Oh, yeah, we're gonna double recent. down. Let's double down. Let's make another Suicide Squad that has 250 player, 250 set, 255 players on Friday, March first. <laughs> 263. Right now they have uh, my fucking 541. Oh, Whoa. it's slightly going up. Because the up, the update is coming with Jokers. I guess people are trying to get back. That's oh. not Joker. So I'm curious how how high it will reach when Joker releases. A thousand. You think the a two thousand? thousand? Okay, so let's make some predictions. Joe thinks a thousand. I think at least two thousand people. Two thousand. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm have to give it some thought before I give. Are we going really price, we're on Price is Right rules though? You, you know. thousand one. <laughs> it's a free update, <laughs> so one, it Bob. should bring players back. <laughs> Don't, there's no monetary restriction if it doesn't bring back a bunch more people. At I, least fifty per, at least twenty five percent of the thirteen thousand that originally it peaked at. Only thirteen thousand on Steam. Oh, yeah. My God. Okay. Well, like again, yes, it's a new character. So let me let me just remind people: Power World was at what? <laughs> 14 something Several million, million. Yeah, a million people simultaneously. And, and motherfucking mm. Hell Divers is like 500,000. And the peak for Suicide Squad is, is 13,000. So let's double down on live service games. Now, to be fair, that was the initial people's reaction to it. Yeah, it's but not if exactly you read said. into it, what they're saying is. We this is volatile. Triple A games are volatile, and they consider Suicide Squad a triple A live service game. Why they say, well, we're gonna go back and make more mobile and live service games. They mean the mobile cheap ass live service game. That one that's already making them millions of dollars. Yeah, let me read you some of the, the we'll start slow and we'll start like let me let me know if you think that this is smart. No. Uh, he says, we see the world and whether it be VR devices, the Vision Pro, the virtual world, who knows exactly how it evolves. But certainly those types of platforms are going to increase in scale and adoption. Uh, and having oh, 11 own studios, we're not just <laughs> publisher of games, but actually developer. And we think that's an asset for us. So he, you know, he's thinking VR, mm. which is taking off right now. Just that God PlayStation. damn, boy, you need to get in that while it's hot. Yeah. Uh, 
You got Half Life well, Alex. You can play for five minutes before that you're like, I feel, yeah. I feel bad. Uh, he says that WB's uh, bi games, business to date, has been driven by four separate franchises. Okay, four separate. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. DC Universe. And yeah. Game of Thrones. DC Universe, the game that's been out for like two decades? Well, and the DC. Oh, and he means okay. the old okay. game. Sorry, the DC Universe MMO yeah, yeah, is yeah. what I was thinking. What's, what's the last one, Game of Thrones? I don't, I don't fucking know. What? what? Game of Thrones? Did yeah, he say Game of Thrones? Game, game of Thrones. Thrones. That has like some of the worst games ever, and they came out a long time ago. Where's the latest? Oh, I know one. Which one? Multiverses? Mobile. Mobile. There's a Game of Thrones oh. mobile. I'm mm. sure it makes dirty money. And it's one of the worst examples of those kinds of piece of shit. Oh, Fucking it's a clicker. Clicker, yeah. So the challenge we've had is our business historically, and he's referring to in games, has been very AAA console based. That's a great business when you have a hit like Harry Potter. It makes a, the, the year look amazing. And when you don't have a release, or unfortunately, we also have disappointments. We just released Suicide Squad this quarter, which was not as strong. Yeah, how about you Lies. make good fucking games? Yeah. If you were still doing Rocksteady, like where Rocksteady is fucking good, and, and you put out a... Hell, it just put a... I don't want Batman games, but if you put out another Batman game in Rock steady you would have done better yeah okay and you'd have been like wow this is not volatile this is consistent people wanted batman and we returned to rocksteady's roots i thought there was supposed to be like a ninja turtles game from rocksteady you remember the rumors of that that would have been well, fucking THQ's cool for yes, game that I'm I, it's like it's on my one. most anticipated yes. list this year which one yes. the last ronin, ronin. Oh mm -hmm. shit! I'm not. Oh, I don't know any. I haven't seen any gameplay on that. No, no. it's just like a little trailer, yeah, candles, and black and white, and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, but it's a fucking Rocksteady four-player Ninja Turtles would have been fucking cool. Yeah. But they probably would have made it into a live service too. Yeah, it would have been exactly. All you have to do is just take that skin of the Suicide Squad and then put it and on. give them guns. Well, see, but the combat would be a lot better. No guns. The fucking uh, no guns. No, Alex. Guns. True. Right. Because where would the loot come from? Yeah. I mean, I guess you could have purple katanas and legendary katanas and notorious katanas, but it wouldn't know, whatever really appeared. work. Whatever, no. period. That's what I'm thinking. Like, it's That's what I'm saying. It didn't a, work. A thousand, though, because, like, Joker's going to come out. They're going to play for, like, a couple hours. Oh, it's we're going to play it. But it's the same we're gameplay. It's the same it. gameplay. You're going to get bored. You're like, I'm I guess done I'll after an the, hour or two. I, mean, I wanted to do an extended review discussion for Suicide Squad, and we it's just kept pushing it. I guess it's now it's... It's too late, but what we could do is we could save it for yeah. when Joker comes out. See if it's and do an extended better. review discussion. Oh god, <laughs> fuck! All right, okay. Uh, the the issue that we have here, uh, and the, the the problem with what he is saying is he is saying that the AAA games industry is volatile, mm -hmm. yeah. and that's not true. Because if you put true. if you put out an amazing game, you're going to get amazing sales. That is how the industry has worked. Forever. What is volatile is the people <laughs> you have managing these yeah. companies and making dumb fucking dumb decisions. Fucking decision. So when you have a team that spends a really long time and they're dedicated to make a Harry Potter game, they put big, you know quality in it and it comes out great. And look and what when you, Yeah, and so the the issue <laughs> he's saying that the industry, he's telling these investors because this is all towards investors. He's lying. He's basically. saying video games are volatile and it's definitely not our mismanagement. He's because lying. You cannot cast doubt on your own company. Of and course. what happened is WB and or uh, the you know, Rocksteady's uh, management fucked the game up so bad that they're going to lose their asses on it, and that's what you fucking deserve. Um, yeah. And then now that he you goes, "You get what you fucking deserve." Yeah. <laughs> and that WB joke. So they they were talking about expanding into mobile and multi-platform free-to-play games, and this is what he says would give us a much better and more consistent set of revenue. Um, fuck it, just get out make, of games altogether and go to go to your uh, mobile sector. Those people to gamble. I don't consider those games. They're clickers. Yeah. Go, go to your mobile sector. So rather than launching a one-and-done console game, how do we develop a game uh, around, for example, Hogwarts Legacy or Harry Potter that is a live service where people can come in and live and work and build and play in that world on an ongoing basis? So I'm, I'm sorry, Joe. I'm sorry, my man. It happened to my Superman. Did guess you, what's, did guess you what's gonna you guess what's gonna happen next? You're gonna have Hogwarts, Hogwarts Legacy Two live, live service, service, and Joe's gonna become Angry Joe. It's Angry Other Joe. Other Why? Angry Why Joe. Why are you fucking up? The difference is you've gotten Perturbed really great Harry Joe. Potter games, and Superman has never gotten fucking. Because Harry Potter is his jam. Okay, Superman so. fans would do horrible things to you to just to be on the the. 
the same plane as Harry Potter games. Yeah, Are you I kidding? Would. Like, I would. Yeah. yeah. It's like, this is Filthy, so much disgusting fucking fun. things. Uh, but yeah, who's booty all I gotta play? With? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Superman game. I do it for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> it's well, just. <laughs> I uh, the rock steady super maybe. <laughs> How long I gotta play with your booty all? <laughs> oh yeah. So, Please. <laughs> no, nah, it ain't happening. I'll never get man. Well, I, I'll be all. Oh, this will turn into the angry grandpa show, and I'll still be asking for a motherfucking Superman game done right. Yeah. If you choose around it five years. Let's see how the movie does. Maybe there's. Maybe maybe there's a small hope there, but I think it would turn into licensed garbage in a mobile game. <sighs> Problem. Yeah, I mean, so he's, he's talking about the, the note of the new gaming strategy is still an earlier stage. But I'm going to um, laugh, Joe, when that fucking Hogwarts Legacy 2 comes out and it betrays everything oh, that it's the first yeah. game did. Yeah, I mean, there's other things coming. Like, we know that the Quidditch game is coming sometime soon. Like, they've been doing beta tests for that. So there's a lot of other properties they could do that can really grind in the microtransactions and live service stuff. Um so sad. We'll play the Quidditch one. Uh, yeah, we'll so let y'all know if uh, I think that one was probably created before all this bullshit. So yeah, hopefully they didn't fuck with that. Uh, but I mean, this is their strategy, and uh, starting in 2025 through 2027 is when he thinks it's going to go in full force. But this is ultimately bad news. Yeah, it's because bad news. it is. This yeah. is this means that from here on out, they're going to focus less on these major AAA Hogwarts Legacy. You're style. fucking up. And then don't come crying to us when we said, hey, we told you so. I think WB Games is falling apart. Yeah. We've had news stories of them trying to shop around, yeah. get bought. Anybody want to buy us? I mean, and he says the core franchise is holding up his business is Mortal Kombat. That is starting to fall to the dark side with microtransactions. Hogwarts, Le uh, you know, you Harry Potter is a recent success with Hogwarts Legacy. Fuck. They're about to fuck that one up, as he motherfucking just said. <clears throat> and and these things once if, if they didn't have these things WB games would dissolve. Yeah, it just means that the chances of you getting a fi finally getting a AAA Justice League or a AAA Superman Man. game is yeah. just now we're going to the going away thing almost. And let's be honest, if, if Superman first game comes out well for this. Yeah, I, I know it's, service. it's like an unthinkable <laughs> thing that the WB games would lose the licenses and give them to other companies. But if they dissolve, if there is no WB games and other companies had to come in and make a Superman game, maybe then I could have hope. Another company makes Hogwarts. Another company makes, but probably wouldn't happen. They would just. They would just stick around dying the whole time, clinging on to pachinko machines and mobile game. Uh, it's like gamers are wrong. It's like, services. nope, you. There was that are... Harry Potter AR game that was like Pokemon that you would yeah, go and find. Yeah, but yeah, I yeah, think I'm they shut one. that one down because it wasn't making all of the money in the universe. So one of the reasons that he's looking at this, and when I'm, I'm worried <laughs> that we all might be incorrect that this is a bad decision for the people he's speaking to, the investors. He's not speaking to gamers. He doesn't give a fuck about us. Yeah. We We're... think, you think it might be a bad decision for investors? No, I think it may not be a bad decision okay. for investors. And I think one of the reasons that he's looking into it is we got some major releases as far as some of these mobile companies. NetEase is one of the largest mobile game companies in the world, mainly based in China, but they have other stuff out here. Um, NetEase game revenue is up 9.4% over last year to $11.5 billion in 2023 this is after where they reported that they were going to have a much worse year than they thought they were going to and that, that like so it's still up because they thought it would they you know people were really hoping it was much bigger than that yeah. they make filthy fucking money because what people want to do is they want to be shitting at work and they want to be going expelliarmus 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 and that is what they want from their fucking hogwarts game because as much as people in our comments and us and like the people that we know are like no i want a triple a game Whoever in your life is, you know, doing that and just tapping on their phone screen, they actually slap drive, them. They drive the market significantly more you. than we do. I will slap you. <laughs> so, you know, I want you to Respect. be right because I agree with you. I want AAA games. No, I you're right. Uh, you're saying, oh, this is a good move for the company yeah, because they will make more money off that. It's like. Sure, it's. I guess it's a good move for fucking greedy corporate assholes. Yeah. But I think it's going to be short term instead of long term, and unless, but unless everybody's just going to continue playing these pieces of shit. Financial man. reports are quarterly and yearly, so it, the short term is all that they care about, right? Because right. they want, you know, they're like, how can we get my make sure my golden parachute is as big as possible, so mm. I retire as from whatever I get, you know, the biggest thing. So that's unfortunately what it is.
So, um, all right, that's that's cool. that's well, the bad news I have here. We got that broken down, man. Uh, you had one about EA, right? <clears throat> Yeah, talking about, uh, you know, big greedy companies fucking up. Uh, EA is getting a fucking boner talking about AI, uh, the CEO. He says, it, you know, and then he starts talking about how three billion players uh, can create uh, EA games with it and they can make all the money off of your work. <laughs> Which is the, the spirit of AI. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So let's see what he says. Um E. Wilson says, uh, CEO Wilson says EA is embracing uh, generative AI deeply, that it's uh, in no small part uh, down to how big the games have gotten. So he says the development cycle is very iterative, irritative, uh, uh, very irritative, irritative, and incredibly time consuming, which is why games are now taking six and seven years to build. That's true, right? As they've gotten deeper and deeper. So the first thing for us is how do we make it more efficient? How do we turn out games in one year and press our developers uh, into servitude and slavery so that we can make more money quicker and faster? What if they didn't have Well, one has an children. easy answer, apparently, AI. AI. About 60% of our development processes have high feasibility to be positively impacted by generative AI. I'm paraphrasing, okay, in case I get in legal trouble, he didn't actually Let's say leave. that. Let's leave. Some of those in there. Uh, but anyway, so we build a stadium in one of our sports games. That would typically take us six months! They don't, they they don't, don't, they don't reuse build them. it, they don't. Reuse You them. fucking it. dumb shit. If you're going to EA Tiburon and they're telling you, sir, it takes us six months for every stadium we build, and there's 32 stadiums. That's why uh, we need more money so that we can build these stadiums every year. You reuse the <laughs> then, same. No, we don't reuse anything. It's a brand new game, you got sir. Caught. And Somebody Wilson, posted it you in the wrong year. fucking dumb shit. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> it takes us six months to build a stadium in one of our sports games. This past year, it took us six weeks. That's because they finally shared with you what their actual work process has been for the past 10 years. It's Anyway, it's not unnatural for us to believe that in the coming years it will take us six days. That's well, yeah, what there's it takes be, right now. There's going to be body horror in the stands. There's going to be that one guy with nine arms like cheering for the Washington baseball team. It's like, that's not even the right sport. And it's because, you know, I, I don't know if you've seen these AI images. It's like... Yeah. I, I I don't know, man. If if your seven hundred and nine hundred employee uh, motherfucking Tiburon cannot make you a stadium in six days, that I mean that's pretty okay. Obviously, not all nine hundred people work on the stadium. But anyway, that got the CEO giddy, and he reckons going from I can't, I'm sorry, we're gonna get men can't get and from six months to FC make a stadium twice a year to now. six weeks to six days. He says. Um, you could find a way to roll that around, roll that out across the country uh, in every aspect of our development. You could start cooking with gas. It's how we use generative AI to make us 30% more efficient as a company. Put in your barbecue. You want to yeah. I'm trying to get to the... Here he goes. Specifically, he wants an AI-driven... Uh, 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 development and discusses a future in which three billion players around the world are set to creating personal content and expanding and enhancing the universe that we create as well as building and creating things that uh, using EA's own AI tech all of a sudden we are the beneficiaries of platform economics that's a multi-billion dollar opportunity for us so what's, what he actually doesn't realize is the more we get into this stupid shit, the closer we're going to get to some teenager creating a sports game entirely out that of AI. That can compete with, with and EA. It, and it, yeah, it's just like, well, you're stealing, stealing your assets. Like, that's what ARR is. They look at all of the most famous things. We and then tweak they, it. They, well, so. sometimes they tweak the it. AI is savior of his company, yeah. and it is the destructor. And of it's like, company. look, you, you are an art company. Yeah. Like, that, you are, it, e, uh, AI is fucking artists. Pretty bad. Like it's stealing all of their assets, and it's gonna. You're gonna be able to take in all that stuff. And if it's like, look, you want to live by the sword, you are going to die. It's by funny the fucking that sword. the CEO yeah. is like embracing AI that works at electronic art. Yeah. I thought they were already using AI. Remember the last? They probably are. All no. those faces, the six-year-old football oh, yeah. players. Yeah. There's like, no the way. 
a computer is generating those faces. <laughs> There's no way anybody handcrafted those faces no. in Madden to make 248 this when we bitched that there was only 10. So they said, fuck you, Angry Joe. Here's 248. One and has a none of them <laughs> look like humans. Look like human no. beings. Well, they, so, I mean, what they did, and I even had a video where there's like, we just made these facial sliders with a cheekbone slider, an eyebrow slider, and then they hit the random number generator yep. 250 times, mm -hmm. save the presets, and go, exactly. fuck you, stop complaining. It's like, but those will look like people. <laughs> fuck you, stop complaining. Yeah. I can't put on my helmet, my cheekbones are too high. Yeah. <laughs> All right. so uh, anyways, he's just basically saying um, how developers uh, should control AI and AI should n not control Yeah, we, they don't want to pay developers because developers have families and need food and want to get into a union, and it's <gasps> much easier for how them dare to they have a life. Yeah, you don't get to do any of that stuff. So they just want to get out of all of the, the tedium. Yeah, and AI like, does not have a family or food needs or need for um, anything. Yet. And we can treat them not as second-class citizens, which <laughs> will begin <laughs> the uh, a Jutlerian, uh, jihad, or the Butlerian Jihad will begin uh, just after Skynet simultaneously. Yeah. Both of them will happen at once. Dunes, AI, uh, Shalabuff, and Terminators, I can't wait. machines. <laughs> A resistance and what other what other resi machine AI invasion the the Gek from is a Gek from Mass Effect they also invade at the same time so. can we throw in Scream is it Scream there's no s AI invasion in Scream those little robots come out but and they then start we'll, being we'll like the dolls leave the earth and go to Mars and but what people? if we dig too deep <gasps> what is he talking about was it Screamers Do you don't remember that movie with well, screamers robots. and scream screamers, are two completely sorry. different. I'm talking about not, yeah, not screamers. Scream, I love screamers. screamers. Yeah. Uh, go check it out. It's a very <laughs> hidden sci-fi gem, and that's AJ film. That's not an OJ film. Don't I think like that, it. Yeah, I OJ it. likes it, but that's not an OJ film. Okay. <laughs> Give bad. the credit to me yeah. <laughs> for screamers telling that's you mine. about screamers. Yeah. That's why I said, like, if, we, if, 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 if there's Judgment Day, we'll have to leave to Mars, and we'll just have to be careful and let the dig too deep. Yeah, we have to go in the bunkers. It's like, oh, careful. careful. All right, that's what I got. You got anything else? No. Okay. I'm just curious uh, if this world would be a better place if EA went bankrupt and we had a uh, different company to replace them. Uh, uh, they're just going to be another piece of shit. They may, the spot. I think our only hope with EA is they get regulated into <clears throat> something different. Because eventually, because I mean, the, the EA Sports FC mm -hmm. is one of their two top earners, right? Yeah. And it's mainly popular in the EU. And I can see eventually the EU going, no, you can't have these horrible random gotcha packs. We're not allowing that shit here. And I don't think that's ever happening. I, I, I think I, it will always be there. Yeah, so like that is your only hope. And so I don't oh, think Oh, that's my only yeah. hope. Yeah, that's like your only hope is the EU, right? Because I'm going to here. get out. Yeah. Get that out. No, they're never letting that go. So EA, well, I mean, they might as well change their name to EA, F, EA Sports Mutt FC. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking uh, Mutt Mode. Yeah. Yeah, Mutt mode. The, instead of EA, it's MUT. So, Mutt. That's what would happen. And on that depressing note, that's our show for today. No, uh, we have a part two for you. Stick around for part mm -hmm. two. Remember, uh, a way to not waste your money, our sponsor. Click the links down below. Just a couple. You get three free months. Uh, you need a VPN anyway. Money back guarantee. I mean, I mean we're talking it's about saving win -win. money. Yeah, like people are locking Let's off the money. Netflix libraries now. Like, what's wrong with that? Look it up if you need a VPN, and we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. Here we are. Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Look at this. Vampire Survivors did, I mean, we turned a lot of people onto that before the big, well, I don't know if we did. We did might have we? turned three people onto it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we couldn't stop talking it about turned, it. We turned it onto ourselves.
right. But uh, yeah, I guess the publishers, uh, whoever did uh, Deep Rock Galactic, said we should take our characters from Deep Rock and then just make a vampire survivor type game. Yeah. And they did. So I played very little just a few minutes ago, maybe a half hour total. Okay. And uh, pretty neat. I put some couple points into uh, heavy bullets or damage, reload time. All right. That first one looks like XP maybe your, your legs break easier. I don't know why they they say heavy Increases bullets. Increases your leg break. Yeah. Increases your leg break. Yeah. And I guess that's it. So down here, you got all these different kinds of things that you can uh, mine Ooh, you can for on the planet. Oh, and you can buy and sell. Different things cost right, right. different things. Gamey, gamey stuff. Can yeah. you tell us what you're equipping? I'm not equipping anything. I was showing you. Let's do it. Play. Oh, I'm curious. I okay. was showing you what I had already done. Quit goofing. Get to it. You shut it. You asked a question. Go to the crystalline, crystalline cavern. cavern. You should be talking to me. You Play shouldn't be game. asking your questions. Well, he's here to train you. So hazard. All right. Complete the dive. So upgrade the core to level 12. Okay. I'm trying to stop. So I did the first of the three up here in hazard one. Okay. It would appear. Uh, I think. And you can only pick him so far. Ooh, the all scout. the other characters are locked. I'm just a little wimp right now. Gotcha. Still, I haven't played much of it. Right. Yep. Drop your own in. Yeah. I mean, I love uh, Deep Rock Galactic so fun. This was a great idea of like, okay, let's just merge our Deep Rock Galactic characters and do some sort of vampire yeah. survivor game. Mm -hmm. First thing I'm going to do is get some of these, you know. Ooh. All right. Okay, so it all, <laughs> it's very, right into like, it. already. Right into it. It's like, oh, exactly. you got a thing to choose. I'm going to do that, um... Mining's great and shit, but like right now, you want to take out the enemies because they get overwhelming really quick. All right. So I just want to increase anything. weapon level by one. Do it. And I like the view too. This is uh, we were somebody uh, was messing around with a, a, a Neebs version of this type of game, and this is the view that it has as well. Yeah. Cool. I think they, what you they just call spoil it? Isometric. That, right. eh, you know. A bit of a so maybe. You left some gems back there. Yeah, I sure did. Get those gems. Yeah, it's not letting me pick them up. Maybe I already got mm -hmm. them, and that's just some... Mm -hmm. This game's broken. Bro. What a broke <laughs> game. Uh, let's you imagine your weapon is now a lot prettier. Increased weapon level by three. But yeah, I'm going to go for the epic, you know? Oh, you can spend 15 coins to re-roll it all. Yeah, not going to do that. Oh, yeah, this? I mean, I can already see just the comparisons. It where, yeah, yeah. It's like, okay, get the shiny things, level up. What am I going to pick this time? All right. I gotta find the. You know what those? Oh, you know they have those. a. I think I told you, uh, right before we started recording, a couple of you. Uh, they have a name for this type of game now. Oh, okay. It's an, an auto shooter. Auto shooter. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that name. I did too, because you're just, with the exception of when you pick these things, right. You're just using the uh, D-pad or the control stick. I'm glad yeah. it's not called a survival game. Rare. No, that'd be ridiculous. Rare. It's not like the forest. Isn't that the one that they compare it to a lot of the forest? Yeah, yeah. The forest. Okay, well, here we go. I don't I know what a survival one of these game is. Yeah, no, you're right. When it what first you came out, okay. I can change it to cold. Just freeze them up a little bit, or look at all that. Ooh, I kind of like more that. damage. Oh yeah, like all three of them. Oh, fire negative rate. thirty fire rate, but more damage. Plus piercing shots. Mm. Ooh, they got the piercing shots though. Oh, negative piercing 30. shots can come in handy, especially with as many as there are. Yeah. Go through them. I'll just bring up the fire rate with other level ups. Do it. Do it. You got it. Going yeah. I want to see it. If it goes yeah, shoot, these shoot, shoot. I am, well, I don't. Oh yeah, look at oh, that. Yeah. See, piercing oh, shot was kidding? so worth it. Oh, see, oh. we made it's the best decision we've made oh, all day. Ever, ever. So my first thing is to get down. How do I get over there? Get down on it. Get down on it. Get down uh, on uh, it. I wish my. So the more you mine, the more you're gonna be able to level up. Is that it? Is that how it works? Well, it's, it's collecting those gems, kind of like in right. Vampire Survivor. Gotcha, everybody drop. Yeah, they drop new little weapons. Little things. Things. You gotta get the shiny, shiny. I want. I picked this before the uh, the high caliber thing. It goes toward the the highest hit point enemy, Ooh. which is great because you fight like little kind of mini bosses. I'm definitely all right. So it makes it shoot them first. Yeah, it'll, it'll it shoots right at them. Yeah, because you'll All see right, it. So the little guys are going to be coming right at you. So I'm making my way oh boy. in the world today. Yeah. Yeah. It takes a lot. And everything. It takes everything you got. Ooh. What I hear. Yeah, I got hit. I wish you could take a Ooh. break. <laughs> so I had to get down. See on the mini map? I've got to clear out this area so the um, oh. the drop pot can come in. Okay, so this is where oh. the extraction will happen. Yep, eventually. You have to clear that. Uh, yeah, drop. make sure it's got Clear the LZ. Done. <laughs> but yeah, I like that. Yeah, you're up against a wall, but you can chew through the wall. That's awesome. 
kind of funnel them. Yeah, I'm get this. Yeah, get those gummy bears. But the longer you take, the tougher they all get, and the faster, and you get more swarms coming. So right, it punishes you for taking your. But time. okay, and I, I imagine you have a mission. I'm gonna do. I mean, you cleared the LZ. Yeah, right now it's going to be drawing out the elite. So oh well, here boss. we go. Oh, so you, you're oh. trying to collect uh, alpaca blue. Ooh. So you, you got two. Out, you're trying to collect oh, a flower. The you got two out of six, right? Uh, I mean, it's what the top right says. Yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. your goal. Yeah. So your goal is to get those flowers and then get to the escape pod. Right. If I were a video game, that's what I'd want. Mm -hmm. you to do. So find some Look at all those gems. Yeah, I know. Oh man, my wow. Man, my gamer, no, uh, my gamer chub noggin. Just got yeah, yeah. Out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just just right. I got a gamer erection. Let's do the um, the reload speed. Mm -hmm. So, does your health, like right now, your health? Okay, that's the lower. It's on the bottom. Yep, and, uh, and oh, it doesn't build. Oh, okay, it just healed Where, up. Is it it's a flower? Really quick. Yeah, that's your hit points. Three of the six HP. flowers. Are you gonna go back to that landing zone? Um, after he gets three more flowers. Oh, that's what it takes. I didn't realize it. All right, let me. I mean, I gotta kill this little boss dude too. Ooh, that's what you got. Oh yeah, yeah. it's like one of those. Get that Man, magnet. they really, they really did. <laughs> Look at <laughs> <rip off. laughs> it's like unapologetic. It's like let's just rip off vampire survivors, mm. which you know, hey, not a bad game to rip off. It's uh, sweet. Uh, what I do like about a game like this is this is something anybody can pick up and play, mm -hmm. and do okay at. And it could be about every genre. Like if you love makeup, it could be makeup Mary, survivor, Mary Kay survivor, whatever. Yeah. yeah. I I imagine we're gonna see a whole bunch of looter shooters. Okay, see now shooters. I only have thirty seconds to get to that drop. Oh. Auto shooter. Which is easy peasy. I'll grab okay. some of these suckers. Oh. Go ahead and get some things while I can. Yeah. Oh, you only got four I out know. of six of your uh, alpaca know. blue. Well, I'll get some of this shit. And make up all, this all, all the bugs are going to be in front yeah. of the pod now. Oh. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That's your ship. Ooh. That's my ship. That all right. The up that though. fire rate, twenty-five percent. We're back in action with that sucker. Oh. Oh, you're going to another level. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, I like that. It yeah. keeps the pace going. So here in between. So that's different than Vampire. I've got Spider, 19 right? of yeah. the gold. Pretty bad. I've got pretty shit and one of the red. I can't get any. See? You broke. I broke. You broke, man. You broke. They all take the red. You need to go into the mines shit. and earn you some monies. And you see how you don't have, like, time. It's a conflict. Okay. It's a conflict. Okay. I wish this was multiplayer. I really do. Mm. Oh, these guys have some stuff. It might be. If you mine them. Oh, gross. They've got, like, uh, different colored gems. We got two gold, one nitro. Well, I think this is early access right now, so there's a chance they add multiplayer. Multiplayer would be great for this. Mm -hmm. It is asking for it. Yeah, yeah, this is very different. Uh, just for the fact that you, you stop, you, you have levels. I mean, it's so, so drastically different. Let's get some greeny, green, green. Step off, y'all. Yeah, that's my thing with Vampire Survivors. I, I do, I love it. But it is kind of obtuse in what you're supposed to do. Yeah, this gives you just some more. Yeah, just yeah, a little bit. Some layers. Great. Uh oh. Oh, that's a dead end. That's what no good. Oh uh oh. Boy. Uh oh. Get through. Get through. Oh, 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 oh. What causes all that? I think those, uh, those are the ones that are glowy. Yeah, oh, the orange glowy guys. Okay. So that's okay. So the red stuff. I figured out yeah. why I couldn't pick it up earlier. The red stuff uh, heals you. Oh. And you are full of health. I see. I thought, uh, oh, so there is a different red stuff that Yes, goes that red stuff you picked up okay. was not the red stuff that right, you want for health. There are multiple red stuffs. So there's Nitra, which, which he has 15 of, right? Yeah. And that's for currency. And then there's red stuff for health. All right, I think I'm clear there. Is that right? I'm not listening. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Sounds right. It said red stuff for health. Yeah. yeah. Now this, we need to collect some more kite. More kite? Man, this is... Making me want to play uh, Deep Rock Galactic <laughs> more than anything. I'm like, yeah, rock and stone. Go collect some more kite. Let's get some. Uh, Come on, Johnny. Uh, it, it doesn't remind. Like I forget how to what it looks like because this is such a different view. What does it look like when you're playing? Deep rock? It's it's a first person. Yeah, first person. Oh, oh you're talking Deep Rock. Yeah, Deep Rock. Yeah. yeah. Vampires, that I'm very focused on this. Gotcha. Yeah. Understand. You need to find some more kite. 
I remember it being full. Boy, yeah. where are they coming from, though? Oh, God, I'm getting... Everywhere? Wow. Oh, everywhere. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. There's a lot of different colors, get too. Here, get out of here, get out of here. All right. Ooh, that health getting kind of low there, door yep, out. Yep, 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 yep. I see a health thing, bottom right. All right, but I don't want to get cornered down there. Understood. Got a swarm happening. Oh, you need to pick up some of them sweet, sweet level up gems. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Get that level a uh, little uh, higher. Ah, uh, yeah. Get a few more uh, some weapons. Here, I mean, I'm already, yeah. I was like, okay, I want to play this because I love Empire. Uh, yeah, look at that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, there goes it. All I feel right. like you're you're not seeing as much of an improvement, or it's not as obvious. It's, it's not the thing. Okay, it's not. Good. I think it's they've got it a little bit more elongated, if you will. It takes a little longer before you see in those big perks. Yeah. But yeah. from when you start, man, you're such a little. Close. Okay, elite slasher coming. Got to take him out, and then the drop pods are gonna come for me. Look at that mess. <laughs> Oof. Wow. Is that I the mean, elite slap? No, that's it's how Vampire Survivors is when you know you first start. Usually, you're you're just a little puss boy. Uh, yeah. And usually, then, eight oh minutes in, God, you can have some it. pretty good. What was that? There's Duck the elite up. slasher. Oh wow. Yep. Oh, but see, you okay. know, now I guess a new weapon. I'm gonna do the grenade because it freezes some. Freezing grenade? Yeah, I could see that being worth a shit. Boom. It wasn't very frozen. Is that it? Nah, so, uh, oh, now sometimes. it is. Yeah, see, now we're getting somewhere. All right, let's bring up the damage of the main, huh? Yeah, Ooh. fuck that luck. Man, you could have gotten lucky. I know. The next pickup, it's been a good time to spend luck. Because you're near all these gems. You could have won big at now, the what, casino. What was that thing that landed at the, at the LZ? Uh, that's that? where the, like it's going to come in Ooh. for the... Status effect damage, acid, electric, and fire. I don't have any of those going. Ooh, I can reload fire. speed's nice. That, that just keeps shit going. Them. Yeah, that's for everything. All of them. And it's got Shoot. purple on it, so you know it's good. Shoot. Speak that gamer language. Shoot. Purple's always good. A little thick energy. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that how it works in ARC? Aren't the purple drops good? Aliens purple are growing stronger. Good, yeah. Yeah. They're growing stronger because I'm not killing them. Oh, man. Ooh. Come on, man. I kind of don't want him frozen. I need him to come back to the front, because... He'll get there eventually. Yeah, this seems uh, harder than that. It, it, I think they've upped the, <laughs> the overall difficulty in ways. Hmm, man. Extra fire uh, all rate. All sources of damage. Man, more hit points is pretty good, too. Yes, you I get... just did one of those not long ago. Okay. Make it, make it yeah, because fun. I've been walking through a bunch, I'm going to do, do that. All sources of damage helps me a little bit. There you go. Oh, this yeah. guy's going down soon. Oh, I like that freezing. Yeah, that helps. Oh, yeah, throw it to the one. It's not perfect. The, one. the aliens grow stronger. All right. You really need to get some more kite. He's going to die soon. Simon. Yeah, we need to get yeah. some more kite. More kite? How much Oh, need? it's way over there? Okay. I'm going to get a bunch. All right, you got this, Dora. How much we need? Oh, we sorry. need 28. We've got zero. Oh, oh. Rock and stone. Oh. Rock and stone. Tommy, don't you remember the beginning of uh, Deep Rock? We're like standing around the bar, we're dancing, we're drinking, we're dwarves. Oh, yeah, vaguely right now. Yeah. It's been a minute. It's been, what, a couple of years? Yeah. Game's been out a while, and I remember we played. We did like three episodes on it. We did, didn't we? I want to say you cut those, maybe. I cut uh, at least a couple of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hope now I've got some more uh, stuff to buy stuffs. I can do um, all projectile damage. I can do that if I want. Uh -oh. And I can buy 25% um, fire rate up. Ooh, man, that's a good Yeah, action. let's do that and that. Okay, good choices, I think. I think. All right, so now. So yeah, we're on to the next level. Let's next level, stuff. and you have all the powers and then some. Right, go. Yeah. So this stuff. Gym it up. And each one gets harder and harder. That's, that's oh yeah, yeah, like your average video game. Just exactly. Just make sure it, it's going to get harder, but you'll get more powerful. Big step up here. What do you think? Mm, I don't like. I don't like what's going on. You don't look powerful yet. Is that a? That, uh, yeah, can I, you go I'm that gonna, way? I'm gonna go yeah. There. Do it. Do it. Go ahead and just make that bridge, man. Yep. Gonna need it. And we're gonna need to get some Bulu caps. And Dallas, you haven't played this enough to no. to see how powerful you can get. Uh. -uh. I haven't seen shit. I'm hoping I'm just seeing just bullets and missiles flying out of you like crazy here pretty soon. Yeah. Oh, do you got a Bulu cap? 
There's another one. Oh, if you, don't, if you don't get it. Ooh, yeah, yes, three blue caps. There's a swarm coming. All right, yeah, they're getting your HP up a little bit there. That's all right. Ooh. Yeah, it's, let's filter them this way. And see, yeah, that's... I bet when you unlock other characters, like the guy with the drill, you'd yeah. think getting through some of this oh. stuff might be a little easier. Oh, right. yeah. That's a big hit. Supply beacon? We should get one of those. I gotta find it and make that weapon. Get that health. You need it. Yeah, there you go. It's a good time is to it, do it. Is it on the map? Is it what's pulsing? See, yep, the pulsing. Okay. Get one of these guys. Get one of these guys. Go ahead and... Uh, yeah, start clearing it out. And, and they'll clear out some for me, too. It's true. I don't think the little guys will as much as the big. Yeah, they'll chew through the rock. But, uh... Ooh. Yeah, the yeah that's a tricky little... Ooh. Wow. Exactly. Ooh. I'm going to have to circle back around, y'all. Yeah, I already... <laughs> I like this a lot. <laughs> Tell you what, though. I don't think you can uh, touch Vampire Survivor's music. That game's got some badass soundtrack. Yeah. Oh, yeah. they That was good stuff. Mm. Maybe you can download it. Play it while you play this. Oh, you absolutely could. You go on YouTube and Damn like make yourself a playlist of Let's your favorite electrical. vampire survivor music. Mm -hmm. I got battery and then boom, now. play that while you're playing this. Hell divers, man. That music is so it's wonderful. Good. Everything about that game is epic. Yeah, but uh, yeah, their 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 choice of music and when to weave it in and out of the action is brilliant. Yep, it puts you in the moment. Sure does. Like when you're getting geared up and you're getting into your hell pod and then, you know, it builds up to that crescendo and you get launched onto the planet every time I'm like, fuck yes, let's go. Yep. I'm here for it. I'm ready to game. I'm a gamer. Freedom. Freedom. Sure. Democracy. Okay. I went way out of the way for that swarm. Yeah. To get back to here. That's going to be an explosion. Okay. This looks clear. Yeah, it so, does. Yeah. All right. You should uh, retrace your steps. Collect them gems. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. like this. It? Oh boy. Is it worth it? Ooh. Maybe. Reload speed on the grenade. Bigger cogs. Fuck it. Quicker so grenades. That might come in handy. What with all the freezing you're gonna need what to do. What with that and shit. Yeah, Helldivers, I think. Uh, we're we're going to main channel Helldivers a little bit, aren't yeah, we? it's too good. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's too good. We didn't expect it to be that good, you know? Yeah. Oh, there's so much good stuff in there. I don't think anybody did. Everyone's like, oh, what's this game? This seems like it'd be okay. Next thing you know, fucking hours yeah. have gone by. Which you can't get into the servers right now, at least when we're recording this. Kill that guy. Kill him. Yeah, yeah I jumped in uh, the other night and got the black screen and waited for about five or ten minutes and finally loaded and... And then once I was in, I had to wait another five or ten minutes for it to load. Yeah. See, Neves, I, I feel like that's a that is a testament to Hell Divers because I don't feel like you jump into mini games solo a lot. I don't. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna play around. Right. So it's got its hooks in you. Yeah. Pretty awesome. That's good stuff, man. I did start to like it more towards the end. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, the more you play. Oh yeah. It does have a. Uh, I mean, like, anything. it's got a different control scheme than what I'm used to with playing a shooter, mm -hmm. at least on controller. But, yeah, it's just, I got I got to remember where the buttons are. Once you remember where the buttons are, you're all good. The aliens. Oh, yeah, I got oh, the main guy. Nice. Right. Oh, boy. Ooh, he oh, dropped boy. pink stuff oh, that I bet was probably I really good. I got to get there. Yeah, you do. Get out of the way! You're cute. <sighs> you're cute. Uh -oh. There you go. Ooh, make a run for it. Make a run for it. I know. God, look at all this stuff you're leaving behind. Come, there's a small one and a big one. Can you go to either? No, it's, it's this one. Huh? Just that one? Yes. Okay. Small one's pinging too. How's that pinging? No answers here. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. Yeah, we're new. No one knows this game. We're new to this. <laughs> it is pinging. I noticed that. Maybe it. I don't know, Nibs. Good question. Mm -hmm. We're going around. Yeah, all right. Ooh. Oh. Oh, some bolts. Nine XP. Is there a clear? That's pretty good. Nine XP, okay. Plus nine XP, and then I can get another on the reload or something. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. But that would be nice. Why not? Um, Is there a clear what, Simon? What's, what's the clear win here? Uh,